Let's face it, these ducks are too cool. We're not gonna be able to find someone who we can trust to take care of them. See, I told you. I don't hear you coming up with any great ideas. Hey, cut it out. <laughs> Maybe we can keep the ducks if we just hide them from Benson. There's no way he'd find them anywhere. Not if we hide them in plain sight. They can stay in the bathtub and I'll train them to act like rubber duckies, like this. Dude, that could actually work. Okay, now squeeze me so I can train him to squeak. Mordecai Rigby, telephone call for you inside. Hello? Um, yes, hello. I'm calling about your ad. Are these ducks small and fluffy and yellow? Yes. Oh, my babies. Thank goodness. I leave the fountain for one minute, and next thing I know, they're gone. It's their mom. She wants her babies back. Tell her no. We got the rubber duck plan all worked out. Come on, Rigby, think about it. We don't know anything about raising ducks. It can't be that hard. You can't even feed yourself. How are you going to feed a bunch of ducks? Good point. I don't think I've fed them at all yet. Have you? When do you want to pick them up? I'll be right over. Do you even know what they eat? I feel like dog food might... Hey! Stop! We shouldn't have left them alone. I think you mean my baby ducks. Sure was mighty kind of you boys to hand them over so nicely. Ta-ta. This isn't over. 